Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven. Today on my channel we are heading back to Goodwill and looking for some treasures. We're going to try to find some vintage home decor items to either add to my own collection or resell. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what else they had today. This is part two. If you missed part one of this thrift along with me, be sure to check it out. I will link it at the end of the video. So I was pleasantly surprised that they had so much vintage dishware today. A lot of stuff from Japan. Do you guys see what I found? Those cups I was just looking at, this is the matching teapot. And I like the cups. I wasn't sure, you know, I wasn't completely sold on just getting the cups. But once I saw the teapot, I thought that would make a cute set, right? So one of the cups did have some flaws to it. I only en ended up picking up two of the cups to go with the tea set. So it'll just be like a little tea for two. But I just love the color to it. I just thought they were really gorgeous. How gorgeous is this little soap dish here with a butterfly on it? Isn't that cute? I've been getting a lot of customers requesting butterfly items, so I was very happy when I saw this on the shelf. I definitely scooped that up for one of my customers.
let me know in the comments below what your favorite pie is. This random little clown was just waiting in this bowl here. <laughs> that was a fun surprise. Kind of interesting where it ended up. I think it's made of paper mache. I've been really into fruit decor for the kitchen lately. I don't know why, but I've just been drawn to it a lot. I recently picked up some chalkware uh, little fruits to put up on my kitchen wall, and yeah, just been drawn to it a lot. So at first I saw that sugar and creamer I just showed you guys and I thought it was gorgeous. I don't deal with fine china too much, but up on the top shelf I found the matching teapot and a bunch of cups and saucers that went along with it. Now they're asking $13 for that. I did look them up online while I was in the store and they seemed to go, you know, not for so much. Basically what I was paying for, I'd probably break about even on that, so that and you guys that watched my 
Thrift Along With Me, the part one. I had that enormous jack-o'-lantern that I found. It was super heavy, and I didn't quite dare put those delicate cups in my cart this day. It's something, if it goes half price, I might go ahead and pick up, but for right now, I just felt like it was a good time to pass. piece here I thought would look really nice as a utensil holder in the kitchen. They're asking $8 for it. I I was finding a lot of high prices today, you know, as a reseller. And look at that. There's a giant crack in it. <laughs> I think that was the thing that really made me put it back because for $8, I think I might have still got it just because I do have a discount card and my cart was already filling up. My discount card, the more you buy, the more you save kind of thing. So... But yeah, I was seeing a lot of high prices today, unfortunately. I thought these are really pretty. They had a set of two here with the votive candle holders in the center. And actually, I think they were candlesticks. Yeah, they were actually made for tapers in the center, which I thought was kind of unusual. I did see a chip on the bottom of this one here. I would have wanted to get them as the set. They were selling them as a set. And I'm trying not to get anything that is chipped for resale. I don't mind for my own personal use. If it's something I like, it doesn't bother me. But, you know, for resale purposes, which is what I would have done with those, I just put them back because I just don't want to get damaged stuff. I thought these are really cute. They had three or four of these Santa candlesticks and there's a few other random things in there. I was going to grab them even though it was a little pricey for the bag, but I knew I could resell them for, you know, at least double my money. I was getting ready to put them in my cart and then I noticed one of the uh, Santa's, I think it was like the tree or something he had in his hand was cracked and it was chipped off. So those went back on the shelf. <laughs> This looks like some type of paint by number that never got finished. I don't really know anything about what it was, but I could tell it was older. It was kind of neat, I guess, but yeah, they never bothered to finish it. <laughs> they were so close, too. See, I set that back, and I almost didn't slide it over, and I'm glad I did because I found this needlepoint holly hobby piece in the back behind it, so yeah, that was a good find. I hadn't seen any needlepoint at the thrift store in quite some time.
my Goodwill had this huge section of Easter supplies that had came in from, I don't know, some department store, but this was over in the handpick section. I don't know how new these are. They're definitely a modern piece, but I thought they were absolutely gorgeous. They remind me of Majolica. I love the colors to them. I seem to be really attracted to things that are green and yellow for some reason, but these are adorable little bookends, and I just thought they were great. So what you've been seeing with all these high prices is Goodwill's handpick section. They wanted $15 for the set of three signs here. I probably would have grabbed them if they were a little cheaper, but you know, I do kind of like the gardening harvest kind of stuff for decor. I haven't really made up my mind how I feel about the handpick section yet. It's kind of like shopping at an antique mall and the fact that they pulled all the older things, the things that are a little bit nicer, and put them over in one section, but they also have you know, much higher prices. It kind of takes the fun out of thrifting a little bit when you want to like search out those items for yourself and find that, you know, diamond in the rough somewhere. But I mean, I have purchased some things from the handpick section, but it's just not thrifting to me, you know, it's just already there. All right, I'm cashing out now. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and catch the haul of everything I picked up today. I will share with you what I purchased it for and what I think I can get for it and the things I'm keeping for myself. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.